Hey ladies, I'm Jessica and you're tuned into another Being Modern Mary webisode. So this video is for all Christian women, whether you're in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, or you're a grown woman, this is for all of us. Because even if you don't know this, you need to put a little sticky note on this as things you need to know for future reference. If you don't know the love story of Ruth and Boaz, you can read it for yourself in the book of Ruth. But for reference purposes, I'm going to sum it up here. Now, Boaz is this Christian God-fearing man who shows that he is trustworthy and loving and caring towards Ruth, who is a widow. And I really wish people would focus more on Ruth in this story, but they don't. <laughs> so whatever, we'll get to it later. Women love him so much because of those characteristics because we want to see those characteristics in our own man and so that's why you see all these memes and you have books and t-shirts saying how women are looking for their bow ass that's why <laughs> this is actually why women cry so hard when we get engaged or married because you no longer have to focus on being the woman who cries over guys horrible guys who did not see the value in you hence the name of the movie waiting to exhale <laughs> now back to reality where we're single and waiting for our boaz <laughs> in first corinthians chapter 7 verses 32 to 34 it talks about a married man and a married woman and how their main focus is on worldly things and it defines worldly things as their main focus being pleasing their husband or their wife. Then it goes on to talk about a virgin or an unmarried woman and how her main focus should be on the Lord's affairs and that being devoting herself to the Lord both body and spirit. So if you're single this is basically the best time of our lives where we don't have any distractions, any hindrances, anything because we can travel the world, we can hang out with friends when we want, we can do whatever we want, but it says that our main focus should be to be devoted to the Lord and working on our intimacy with Him. So since we have no distractions, our relationship should be A1. <laughs> is what I'm getting from the scripture. Regardless of if you're single, you have a boyfriend, or you're engaged, we all still have one thing in common, and that is to be devoted to the Lord. Because a boyfriend is not a husband, and a fiance is still not a husband. An engagement ring is a friendship ring until you seal the deal. So we all still have this one thing in common as unmarried women. A few years ago, a wise man by the name of Fab said, if you stay ready, you will not have to get ready. So that leads me to our next story, the story of the 10 virgins. We can't possibly talk about waiting without talking about this story. And so if you don't know this story, you can once again read it yourself in Matthew 25. But for reference purposes, I will sum it up here. Okay, so check it. There are 10 virgins. There's five virgins classified as wise virgins and the other five are classified as foolish virgins. So one night they got word that the bridegroom or this dude was coming to town that night and so they prepared themselves. The five wise virgins took their oil lamps and they took their extra oil. Now if you don't know what an oil lamp is, we're just going to call it a flashlight for this story. So the foolish virgins only took their flashlight. While they were waiting, the ten virgins flashlights started to die out. Now the five wise virgins had brought extra batteries so they simply swapped them out. The five foolish virgins just didn't have nothing. They were stuck like Chuck in the dark. So they asked the wise virgins for some of their batteries and they declined. They said, girl, no, we don't have enough batteries for all of us. 
And so they told the foolish virgins to go find someone who sold batteries. While the foolish virgins were away buying batteries, old dude came back and he only took the five wise virgins because they were ready. Now that is the story. Here we go. You have no idea when your husband is going to find you. Notice how I said find you. Or you don't know when God is going to return. So your best bet is to stay focused and be ready for whichever one comes first. The foolish virgins clearly gave God a time frame, believing that the oil that they had in their lamp would suffice that okay the bridegroom will return before my oil runs out the foolish virgins were unready because they weren't where they were supposed to be the same thing can go for us as christian women when we put time frames on god and say i want to be married by 25 and i'm going to have kids by 30. when you put these kind of time frames on him and then the age that you set comes and goes now your approach is unready because more than likely we've developed doubt and we've become weary and we think that love has left us out. The point I'm trying to make is don't waste your singleness thinking about better days. If you're single, live in that season. Stay content with that and focus on your relationship with God and being used by Him and to also stay prepared. Once again, I would like to thank you all so much for tuning into another Being Modern Mary webisode. If you like the video, feel free to like it or share it. I do videos every Tuesday, but in the meantime and between time, you can visit beingmodernmary.com or check me out on Instagram at modernmary.j. One more little tidbit. My birthday is on Monday, October 10th, 1010. So the next time you guys see me, I will be 25. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next Tuesday.